Hey there guys, Justin with Real Family Fun. So on a recent trip to Universal Orlando Resort with my family, uh, we were looking for lunch, so we decided to stop in the Bread Box Sandwich Shop, which is on the second level of City Walk as you enter Universal Orlando. And as you can see, uh, it's just a typical sandwich shop, does have handcrafted sandwiches, a wide menu, uh, even things on the menu that our kids liked. So we'll go into a little bit more about the prices at the end of the video, but just wanted to show you what the interior looks like here. And we're gonna try out the sandwiches. We are trying out the bread box. We've never been here. The food's coming, the shin is getting the egg salad, and Celeste is splitting so she has ham and cheese. Ham and brie. And I'm getting <laughs> ham and brie cheese. Whatever, I don't so, know. And I'm getting chicken salad, so we're gonna see how it looks. Okay guys, so we're back in the car. So some of our thoughts on the sandwiches. Uh, as far as the prices go, the one you saw on egg salad, it's the egg salad sandwich was $8.99. It was on toasted pumpernickel bread. Uh, the chicken salad, which I got, which is on toasted sourdough, I believe, and then the ham and brie little sub that the kids got were both $10.99. So with the drinks, we had three sodas. So three sodas, three sandwiches, was about $42. So it's a little steep, but it's... Uh, for sandwiches, but it is Universal Orlando. It is sort of a tourist trap. We go there a lot. There are cheaper places to eat there, and if you're going to eat in City Walk and not eat inside the park, and we will probably make some more videos of those later uh, the next time we go. But overall, uh, the sandwiches were good. They tasted fine. You know, they were they were nothing spectacular. They were okay. Uh, and you know, I would go again and eat there and maybe try something else. Um, so uh, my only complaint was the bread was a teensy bit dry, but it was toasted. So, uh, and just to be noted, that $42 was after we used our annual pass to Universal, which got us a discount from for, of about $4, $4.42. So it would have been uh, closer to about $46 for three, three sandwiches and three sodas. So a little steep, but, you know, we have a family of four, so even at home in North Carolina, we're... We're used to paying 40 50 bucks for a meal if we go out to eat to a, a nicer place. So, so hope you enjoyed that. I know it was quick, but give you an idea of the kind of menu they have there at the bread box. When you do go into Universal Orlando, um, don't think you have to eat in the park if you don't want to eat at the price of your restaurants in the park. They do have they do have counter service in the park, which is not too bad. But there are a lot of affordable places in City Walk to eat. We've eaten at Cowfish and Toothsome and some others which are a little more medium range prices, but you can, I think, get a, a small or medium pizza at the Red Oven Pizza there for about $13. My wife has gotten sushi there before. There's some other, uh, at another place there, there's some other affordable options in City Walk. And if there's any you want to see, let us know in the comments below. And uh, next time we're there, we will try to film those. So uh, make sure you like and subscribe to the channel. It'll be more family fun videos coming up family travel, tips on how to save money on family travel, and also uh, dining uh, and just records of our fun trips and places that you can try to go with your family. So make sure you like and subscribe and tap that notif notification bell so you get uh, a notif notified when new videos are uploaded. Sorry, I'm tired today. So uh, we'll see you next time and thanks for watching.